Hello, I'm Judy, the organizer and creator at Rescue My Space. Welcome back to my channel. And if you are new, welcome. <laughs> so today's video is very similar to a video I did. I think it was last year, maybe even the year before. But basically, I'll be reorganizing my makeup bin. So I've been needing to do this for a while because I'll be honest, it's a disaster in there. I have makeup everywhere. I need to clean my brushes because it's been a minute. And I'm gonna take you guys along with me as I do so. The reason why I'm filming this video again is because I wanna show you guys that sometimes, even if you organize a space one time, it doesn't mean you're not gonna reorganize a space again. If you watch my video on how I reorganize my storage closet, you saw that I organized it in the past and then I reorganized it again to fit my lifestyle. So this time I wanna take my makeup to another level. I want to put it in an organizer or bin that's a little bit more aesthetic pleasing that fits my home style and guess what it's pretty inexpensive compared to the bins that I sometimes buy so and it has a lid before I used a plastic storage bin this time I'll be using like a basket with a lid that's a bit more neutral and natural and fits my home style which is something that I'm accomplishing in my home mixing organizing and home decor I don't know why I did that so anyway let's go clean my brushes together. Let's go clean the makeup. Let's clean that entire area. And then we're gonna come back on camera as I reorganize my makeup. So let's go. But before we get started, make sure you like this video. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe below. And of course, turn on your notification bell so whenever I post a video or any type of content, you will be notified. All right, so I am in the guest bathroom, AKA Sabria's bathroom. And this is where our makeup sits. This bathroom needs a makeover. Hopefully it's coming soon, at least by summer. We'll see. But anyway, let me show you guys what my makeup bin looks like right now. It looks crazy. It looks crazy. Let me show you. Here she is. <laughs> ah, okay, as I said before, look something fell and broke in here honestly i don't even know what it is i'm gonna take everything out and then i'm going to place it on a towel and then i can which will allow me to see what i have and whatever i'm gonna get rid of i'm just gonna go ahead and throw it away i'm just tired of seeing certain things i mean like this palette right here i don't touch this palette i never touch this palette why am i holding on to this palette i'm gonna get rid of it actually a client gave me this I'm so excited I'm finally doing this. This is so needed. I've been wanting to do this for so long. There's so many makeup items, especially foundations, I don't even touch. Like, why am I holding on to it? I don't know. So let me get that towel. Let me get a trash bag. Yes, let me get a trash bag and I'll be right back. This is actually Sabria's paint cloth. Guys, we're gonna ignore a lot of things. This is a Sabria's paint cloth. So it we wash it all the time. Look, there's paint everywhere. So I'm gonna use this as a foundation so I'm gonna be using that to place all my makeup and then I have a trash can right here this is like my favorite palette I literally use this as highlighter eyeshadow and that's pretty much it ouch and uh, you yeah, know that's pretty much it love her I'm definitely keeping her all right this is the only foundation that I'm using right now the only one I have two others I'm gonna go ahead and throw them away why am I why am I holding on to that like These, you know, go away. All right, my brushes, I have a few brushes, which I am making for you. They are really, really dirty. Thank goodness I have not broken out. Because <laughs> I do not clean them. It's been a while, I just kind of, I don't know. Oh, my hands are dirty. I just stopped, you know? I stopped, but not anymore. Okay. I can get rid of this one. I can get rid of this one. These are my brushes. I don't have much, but these are like, I use all of them, as you can see. I'm going to clean these today before I bring them into the new place. Like, no, we're not going to put this in the new place. We're not the new, the new makeup bin, that is. I want them to just put them wrong in the sink. Because that means, and I'm gonna wet them right now. 
now I have no excuse. So basically I'm just taking out all my other makeup items. I, yeah, this is literally the, my eyeshadow palette that I like. I like this one. So I'll just keep two and that's it. Keep it simple, Judy. Keep it simple, Judy. Another foundation I don't even touch. Why do I have three foundation items? Foundation items. Why do I have three foundation that I don't even touch? Favorite eyebrow pencil. Yes. What are you? I'm gonna go ahead and throw you away. I'm gonna go ahead and throw you away. I feel like I'm not touching it. Pat McGrath. Love this. Look how beautiful this is. Oh, love this blush. Love it. Love this. Charlotte Tilbury. Um, it's a bronzer, but I use it as a contour. It's gorgeous. I love this. Like I also use this as an eyeshadow. Shout out to Octavia B. She's the one who put me on game with a lot of these products and I have not changed or looked back. Another brush. And then everything else are like brushes. I have like an eyelash adhesive, which I literally don't touch. I don't touch any of this. They're like what is it, a brow pencil, a brow pencil, they're like the e.l.f. So they're not expensive. I didn't spend too much money on these, so it's not that painful to let it go. You know what? Look how it looks in here. I've literally been living with this for so long. <laughs> oh well, she's gonna be in the shots. <laughs> Let's go ahead. Was I keeping eyelashes? Keeping lashes in here. Why was I keeping lashes in here? Why did I have a, I have a pair of lashes? Why? Why? I'm gonna be bringing in four organizers in the new bin, and this one's actually not dirty. This is actually a new one, but two of them are filthy. So I'm gonna put it in the other sink. Let's just put some water in. Whoa! Oh my goodness! Look at my hands. Look at my hands, they're so messy. Oh my gosh, hopefully it doesn't stain my, I just got my nails done. Oh, that would suck, it okay, doesn't stain, okay. I have white nails, I'm like, oh, hopefully it doesn't stain. Okay, so I'm going to get rid of the Morphe palette. Such a beautiful palette too. Um, like, look at this, neutrals everywhere. I literally don't touch this, and I'm not going to touch it. And it's old, it's, it's very old. This is very old. I don't even know. I'm like trying to tell myself, like, no, girl, you need to. No, I'm not. You know what? I'll keep one pencil. I'll keep the long one. I'll get rid of this black pencil because I was gonna keep this eye eyeliner, but I keep one. So I have one foundation. This is literally the only one I use. I used to use the Dior one. I just haven't bought it, so this is my second one, and I've been liking it. Like I have it on now. I love it. Um, and then everything else, I'm keeping. Wow, I have nothing in here. Okay, my brushes. I was like, what else is going in my makeup bin? But my brushes are gonna go, they're probably gonna take up most of the space. But that is it. Can you read that? Baby is calm. We're good. <laughs> Let me know if I need more makeup. <laughs> Sometimes I'm like, I need, I don't need makeup. Well, I do need makeup, but so I tell myself like, I don't need any more makeup, I have enough. And then sometimes I'm like, but I wanna give myself like a look, you know, like do something different than this. But then again, I'm like, for what? Why? Why? This is my favorite make, this is my favorite lipstick from Laura Geller. And it's like this really pretty nude. Let me see if I put it on, if it's gonna do anything. I'm putting this on my left, my left hand. Can you tell it's nude? I usually put like a lip liner on when I wear it, but it's really, literally, it doesn't even look like I have anything on. I don't know if that's a good thing. <laughs> People usually say, oh, you have makeup on? It's like, yeah. I used to think that was a compliment until I realized it's not a compliment because it means I spent all this time putting on nothing. <laughs> like, <laughs> I spent all this time putting on makeup and you can't even tell. 
Like, I want you to know that I have makeup on. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go off the camera, I'm gonna wash my brushes, wash these dirty things, and then let them dry overnight, come back on camera tomorrow, and then finish off the video and show you guys my new makeup bin and how I'll be organizing it. So yeah, I'll see y'all in a few, which will really be tomorrow, but for y'all, it's in the next clip. <laughs> All right, so it's been a few days now. It took me about two days to clean my brushes, I know. But everything is clean, makeup is clean, organizers are clean, and now it's time to put everything in the new makeup bin. But before that, I gotta show you what it looks like. So this is what it looks like. Here she is, isn't she a beaut? Ah, she's so beautiful. So I wanted to go with something that was a bit more stylish, something that fit my home a little bit more than the plastic storage bins. And I think this is literally perfection. I love the fact that it does have a, a lid so I can close it and you wouldn't even know what's inside of it. The reason why I wanted to go this route is because I want to be able to just take it anywhere. Like if I'm in my bedroom, I'll put it in my bedroom or really I just wanted to blend it with my home more so than be something that stuck out like a green or sore thumb. I'm not sure what that phrase is. But anyway, this is it. It's from Amazon. I'll link everything below. I think it was under $40. If I'm not mistaken, it was about $26.99 or $29.99. It doesn't matter. I'll let you know. And yeah, if I wanted to, I can seal it as well. Just like this. Bam. Sealed. So before I even purchased this, I made sure that the dimensions fit the number of bin, the number of organizers I was going to put inside of it. So again, I'm using the everything organizers from the container store. I have four that I'll be using in here. And I got this size because I knew that four of them can fit in here with ease with a little bit of wiggle room. So literally, I'm just gonna be placing, I'm gonna, how can I show y'all? I'll show you guys like this. I'm going to be placing them just like this. So this is gonna go here, this essentially here, and this here. So it's gonna look like this. I'll show you guys the overview. And I'm just gonna place different makeup items in it. You know what, before I even place them in here, I'll just show you guys what it looks like out here so you get a feel of what I'm doing. So my makeup is in here. I have it in this bin right here. This bin is from Bed Bath & Beyond. It's actually a gem and it's inexpensive, but I should probably do a video on organizing products at Bed Bath & Beyond. They have a lot that I've used in the past and yeah, I should, I should do that, right? Let me know in the comment section below if I should. So anyway, uh, I like to start with my brushes. I'll take all my brushes out and then I'm gonna put them probably in this long one since they, they're a lot, there's a lot of them and I have two beauty blenders, at least with me. I think I have one more upstairs. Yes, I did my makeup. So I have one more upstairs that I need to wash, but this is big enough for the amount of makeup brushes I have. Yeah, and it works. It works perfectly. So it felt so good cleaning my makeup brushes. It had been a minute. And when I tell you a minute, I mean a few months. And thankfully I did not break out. Granted, I didn't wear a lot of makeup in the past like few months, but still, my, my, my face, knock on wood, hasn't broken out yet. And it won't, now that they're clean. Fits perfectly, look at that. Perfectly. I have my beauty blenders on the right, or on this side, and then I have my brushes on this side, and I have one more to fit in here, which will fit, so that, I love it. I love these, I love these. They clean so easily, do not dishwash them, please. I've dishwashed a few, and, um, don't do it. So next, I'm just going to put in my little pencils. I literally have, oh, well, I have two more brushes. Don't you forget those. I have two pencils. I have an eyeliner. I have an eyeliner and a brow liner. Yeah, brow pencil, literally. Oh, lip liner. And that is it. I got rid of a lot. As you've seen in the previous clips, I got rid of a lot of like pencils that I just wasn't even touching. And these are the three that I touched the most. So I'm gonna place my foundation flat because that's probably the best way it can go. 
but I'm gonna place it in this small one because I only have one. And I can even add another one if I get another one, but this works. And I'll also place my concealer in it. Bam. All right, oh, I have another concealer. Okay, so that works. And then I wanna say lastly, so this is what I'll do. I'll put my, my Laura Mercier powder in one and then I'll mix that with eyes. Or you know what, no. I'll put my mascara and my eyelash curler with the pencils along with my sharpener so that it's kind of like, it kind of flows. It's like eyes for the most part, even though there's lips in there. Okay, this is broken, isn't it? Well, we are just gonna have to work with it. Pencil sharpener. And then I'll put my lips with my powder since I don't have a lot. I literally have two lip glosses, one lipstick. I have two lips. Where's my other lipstick? Oh, here it is. I was like, no, I have two lipsticks, two lipsticks and one chapstick. So that works. And then my palettes, I'm just gonna let them sit outside of the organizers and I'll show you what I, I mean by that. The same thing with my contour, that's not my, my bronzer and all of my palettes really. So. My palettes are gonna sit outside and then I have everything else in organizers. So everything is ready to go, everything has a place. And now I can easily grab what I need and do my makeup. All right, now it's time to put everything in the storage bin. Let me move these to the side. And there we go. So again, before I used the plastic storage bin, which had no lid, it worked perfectly. I love how I organized my makeup before. I just wanted something a little bit more elevated, something with a lid and something that just fit my home better than a white plastic bin, even though the white plastic bin is perfect and it's super inexpensive. So I would always encourage to go that route if you don't wanna go this route. But for me, this is what works now in my life. So I'm gonna put this one first. Put this in the front and then I will put the rest next to it. Literally, I'm not putting it in any like specific configuration. I just am placing it in here. I'm actually gonna push it to the side so that my palettes have some room on the other side. So my palettes, so I have two palettes. Oh, I have one eyeshadow, two eyeshadow palettes, one, I think this is like a blush palette and then a blush. So that fits, this fits. And then I'll put that there and then I'll put this here. So you know what, this can actually sit with powder. There we go. Oh, that looks good. Okay, cool. All right. Good. All right, so this is what it looks like inside the bin. We have everything placed. So like I said, I have my palettes on the side since there was some space and this works for me. Um, I decided to put my, I decided to put my uh, bronzer here because it's face. It just kind of works. It makes sense to me. But everything has a place. I just love this. And then all I have to do is close it and you won't even know there's makeup in here. That is pretty much it. This is my new, makeup bin let's not mess up the table she is in there and now i can put her anywhere in my home and you would know there's makeup in there so hopefully this video helps you reorganize your makeup collection we are jumping into spring so spring cleaning is coming soon so you might as well start now and get in front of it and start with your makeup all right you already know what time it is if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And thank you so much for watching this video. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.